Kokarski process is a method of crystal growth used to obtain single crystals of semiconductors, for example, silicon, germanium, and gallium arsenide. The process is named after Polish scientist Jan Kokarski, who discovered the method in 1916 while investigating the crystallization rates of metals. The process starts by growing a Skokarski crystal by filling a suitable crucible with a material of desired wafer product. For silicon wafers, have a pure, correctly doped silicon pieces obtained by crushing the polished silicon from the Siemens process. To maintain the purity of the end silicon product, the Skokarski process is done in a clean room environment with hyperpure crucible material. The inside of the machinery must also be made to, very, to be very clean. The next step is to dissolve the silicon in the crucible, keeping the temperature close to melting point. Since temperature gradient cannot be avoided, convection will occur in the liquid silicon. Big magnetic fields are used to suppress this phenomenon. The seed crystal is inserted into the liquid silicon and at the predetermined temperature, the seed crystal is withdrawn. For homogeneity purposes, both the crucible and seed crystal is rotated in opposite directions. The speed and development during growth differs from one fabricator to another making it a very valuable information. During the process, the radial and lateral doping level will be influenced as it will not stay as a constant. The concentration of impurities, especially the institutional oxygen, may also change. In general, the concentration increases from head to tail. The crystal lattice defects will be present and may change in size and distribution. This is where crystal growing becomes an art where the change of the rotation speed temperature, the growth speed, or any other parameters must be manipulated to achieve homogeneity. Once the desired length has been reached, the seed crystal is withdrawn gradually by just increasing the pooling rate, bit by bit, which will lead to a reduced diameter. This process is done to avoid tight thermal shock or the rapid cooling end, which could introduce large temperature gradient and produce stress that will cause plastic deformation and destroy the silicon. By the end of this process, a silicon ingot will be produced with a, an end cone similar to the seed cone. Sudah menyeru, yang pasti yang panggil itu. Sudah.